It is a story we tell time and time again. An illegal immigrant out on bond accused of committing another crime. Chip Osowski joins us now live from the Pinellas County Jail where changes will soon take place. Chip. Well, Jen, absolutely. In years past, illegal immigrants could post bond if they had committed minor crimes. Walk out of here, no question, what no questions asked. But now, deputies at this and other jails in the area will be keeping a closer eye on who's being booked and who's being released. Cases like the one involving Lorenzo Martinez come to mind. He was arrested in Polk County for hitting and killing a man on a scooter. Sheriff Grady Judd spoke about the case at a podium in Pinellas County. He pled guilty to DUI manslaughter and leaving the scene of a crash with death. He was sentenced to 50 years in prison. 50 years that you, the taxpayer, are paying for, and he should have never been here in the first place. He and other sheriffs joined immigration and customs officials announcing a new partnership. It allows jails to hold illegal immigrants for 48 hours after an arrest if ICE requests a hold. It closes a loophole far too many criminals were sliding through. But when it comes to criminal illegals, there should be no discussion, there should be no debate, there should be no hesitation, there should be no, no consideration, is they need to go and they need to stay gone. The new partnership doesn't mean ICE agents will be swarming the Bay Area looking for illegal immigrants, but it could mean more frequent visits to local jails to pick up those criminals who are ripe for deportation. So the question is, what about cases like the one involving Yesenia Gonzalez, who Sheriff Judd explains was involved in an accident and fled the scene last night? No one was seriously injured, and she has no prior criminal history. Well, ICE will have to make the decision on whether or not to hold her for that 48 hours. Jen. Chip Osowski, live in Pinellas County for us tonight. Thank you.